I'm Tom Henson at Southern Conference Media Day. We had an opportunity to talk with Terrier running back Will Gay, Wofford linebacker Travis Thomas, and head coach Mike Ayers today. Terrier team used to making playoffs, didn't get in there last year. How much motivation has that provided for you and the rest of the defense? That's a huge motivation, man. We, uh, we're a team full of prideful guys. You know, we reflect Coach Ayers, and uh, we're just looking to get back to where we were, man. We, we're used to success, especially the juniors and seniors. We uh, had a four-year run where we just – in it every year, you know, so it was humbling, but sometimes that's what you need to get back on top. Got to be excited about an opener in an ACC environment, particularly Georgia Tech, who runs very similar offense to Wofford. It's going to be a fun game. I mean, if the defense doesn't know how to stop a triple option team by now, then I don't know what <laughs> what they're doing, but it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a real quick game. No, no throwing the ball. It's just going to be ground and pound. Yeah, we thought that game might be over in less than two hours. <laughs> oh, 100%. <laughs> Coach, first of all, congratulations on the birth of a new granddaughter. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Madison Grace, and uh, we uh, been at the hospital for a little bit and uh, kind of anxious uh, that she uh, get here, and uh, she's here, and we're excited. Uh, Max, uh, our grandson, he's uh, – He's got a hat on with a badge that says, I'm the best big brother around. Uh, he's excited. Uh, our, our whole family's excited. Quarterback play last year, inconsistent at some times. Yeah. And as, as Terrier fans well know, that's a position that's so key in this offense. Well, what are your thoughts on that situation as we get ready for fall? Well, uh, there was consistency, and it wasn't just at quarterback, inconsistency. And uh, I think for us, uh, we – made a concerted effort to make sure that uh, we we did a great job of evaluating and grading our quarterbacks and their performances in spring ball because I wanted to name a guy. I wanted everybody to know who that guy was and uh, that guy would be the guy coming into uh, camp. Uh, there's 29 practices and it, it's it's a situation where a lot of things can happen in 29 practices. And for us, the thing that we found out is this, is that we've got four guys that can be the guy. We've got four guys that can be the guy. And I truly believe that, 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 that's, gonna, that, that, that that's gonna help us, that, that's gonna help us down the road. Uh, we, if we do get an injury, I'll have confidence in that next one. If he's injured, I'll have confidence in the next one. I'm confident in all of those guys. And uh, I think for us, the, the thing that, that we're going to look for is consistency in not only the quarterback position, but consistency in our practice habits, consistency in our execution, consistency all the way around.